Hey, hey, what's going on? It's Sunshine. And E. All right. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Sunshine and E mm -hmm. in the house yep, doing yep. some more reaction videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a continuation of uh, what we're talking about. Uh, the premise of a song by the Blues Travels called 100 Years and we're going to do the starting 100 years ago and work our way up to the present. We did the 1920s, now we're going to do the 1930s. Me personally, I don't think a lot will change. It'll be little bits of things change, but I don't think they're really going to change to start get to the 80s and the 90s, but we'll see. But let's get started. Before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share, comment below. So come on, let's go. Every family was different in the 1930s but there were some things that many of them had in common. What was day-to-day -day life like in the 1930s? What did families do? A typical family during the Great Depression would have consisted of a father, mother, and several children. The average day would commence with the father of the family leaving for work. That is, of course, if he was lucky enough to still be employed. Shortly after he had left, the children would leave for school. Most children walked to school or rode the school bus. The mother of the family usually did laundry on Monday mornings. Some families had new, labor-saving washing machines, but washing clothes by hand was still common. The clothes were hung out to dry on a clothesline. Tuesday was ironing day. <laughs> Some families had electric irons, but many women still used a heavy, black, flat iron that was heated on the stove. Mm. The most common form of entertainment was the radio. Radio programs would entertain families throughout the day with various kinds of programming. During the day, soap operas would interest mothers while they worked in the home. After school, action and adventure programs for kids were common. In the evening, Programs that the entire family might enjoy would take over the airwaves. If the family didn't want to listen to the radio, they might choose to play a board game, which were becoming popular in the 1930s. Wow. Sorry was released by Parker Brothers in 1934 wow. and still remains popular today. By far, the most successful board game was Monopoly. Mm -hmm. This game gave people the chance to buy and sell property with money they could only dream of having. Mm. On Saturday evening, it was common for a family to go shopping, if they had the money to do so. There were a variety of stores downtown, from shoe stores to clothing, sporting goods, and music shops. Most families didn't have a lot of money to spend at these stores. The average take-home pay was about $17 a week. Some made as little as $7 a week. Even doctors made only about wow. $60 a week. The prices of products reflected the economic conditions. A men's shirt cost about $1. A washing machine could be purchased for about $33. A winter coat might cost anywhere from $18 to $28. That's kind of up there for that. A milkshake cost 10 cents and a bag of roasted peanuts could be purchased for a penny since many families had so little money certain things that were once commonplace became luxuries for example going to the barber was no longer an option for many families haircuts at home became standard practice families also stopped going to the dentist for regular checkups and doctor visits were saved for very serious conditions some women even started giving birth at home in an effort to save money. Unfortunately, not every family could afford to go shopping or purchase new clothes. Some families were forced to patch shoes with rubber from worn out tires. Even families that had once been affluent began dressing their children in hand-me-downs. The Great Depression made life extremely difficult for many people. Unemployment rates reached unbelievable numbers, with as much as 25% of the population unable to find work. 
This meant that an estimated 13 to 15 million Americans did not have a job. Those looking for work were desperate. A business would advertise for six positions that needed to be filled, and more than 15,000 applicants would apply. Some of those who couldn't find work began riding the rails. No <laughs> Known as hobos, they illegally boarded boxcars on trains, hoping to find work in the next town. Those who were fortunate enough to keep their jobs saw their wages slashed by as much as 60%. Mm. A worker who had once made $1 an hour would be reduced to 40 cents mm. and be happy to have it. All across the nation, fathers who had once held important positions in companies were now searching dumpsters for their family's next meal. Food was scarce for many. Cabbage soup became a common meal. Mm. Meat and vegetables could no longer be afforded. Some families even resorted to taking turns eating. Some members of the family would eat on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, wow. while others would eat on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays, with perhaps the entire family eating together on Sunday. Mm. In order to cut heating costs, families resigned to heating only one room of their house. They used many different heating sources, from wood to coal that they had found, or even corn cobs. <sighs> In an effort to save money, many families shared homes. Some younger children were sent away to live with relatives in a different part of the country. In other cases, kids as young as 13 were told to leave home and go find work. <sighs> Obviously, every family was different, and each had its own set of circumstances. However, each family did everything it could to make it through one of the most difficult times in American history. Hmm. Now I will say, I don't know if you've ever used one of the, the washing machines in hand with the rules. Some of those who couldn't find worn out. Those I things are my time. Those things Even are good. I, when I was ten years old, I went to stay in uh, with some cousins down in North Carolina. They had one. And I'm telling you, you you can have a towel to soap, put it through that thing, and it's almost almost it's, it's just damp. It's not even wet no more. You put it up on the line, it's 80 degrees in 10 minutes. That thing's dry. Mm. It took that much water out. That thing is really, really did a good job. Squeeze, you know. I was impressed. With I mean, that. that's the that's not the washing part. That's the. the yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the washing part. out. The washing part. Yeah, but the, they used to have to like the scrub board uh, thing. Yeah, I think that was yeah, but I this was had that part, and you washed it, and I guess they had a way to to, to rinse it out, and then you send it through that little thing, mm -hmm. and then once you did it, and it squeezed the water and put it back into the, and that thing comes out, and it's just like there was little tricks. It was in college we used to do that. If you didn't, if you, you couldn't afford, you wanted to wear a shirt or something. You would wash the shirt, wring it out as much as you can with your hands, put it in a in a towel, and one guy get it all side so out and then twist it, turn. it yeah, and then it goes in that and then, then a few minutes are dry. Mm -hmm. So those old school ways of doing things. So that was a tough life. That's the depression time. So that was a little tough life. So we're gonna move on to the thirties, and I'm thinking that things is gonna to start to get a little bit better. This so, is the thirties. I mean, to the forties. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, but we're gonna move on to the forties. So I think it's gonna be a little bit better. But we'll see. So y'all hang with us, and let's get to that next decade. We're going to get out of here. Before we do, do me a favor. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Also share, comment below. And I do believe that's it. That's it. Thanks for listening to, to Sunshine, Sunshine and Me.